day and welcome to another Tuesday tag. I'm coming to you from a, a different location <laughs> because I have a sleeping grandson. It's early in the morning and a sleeping grandson is a quiet grandson. He He's good as gold. Oh my gosh, he's so good for me, but he doesn't know how to zip it. <laughs> he is a talker. And if you tell him to be quiet, he's going to find something to say. I don't know where he gets that from. <laughs> I don't know where he gets that from. I'm, I'm not even going to say. So <laughs> anyway, y'all already know by now who makes these tags. And that's Tracy over at Drive the Long Hair Girl. So head on over there and check her out. And thank you, Tracy. And this week I was tagged by Joan, the JPP herself, Joan's point of plate. So thank you, Joan, for tagging me. And since... He's sleeping in the room with the computer. I have my Kindle. There's Tracy. <laughs> if you don't know Tracy, that's Tracy. So I have the questions here in front of me. And I can't blow the screen up. So <laughs> I might be doing a little bit of this. So the first one. What do you do on your commute to or from work? Well... <laughs> <laughs> I walk from the living room to the craft room to the kitchen. <laughs> no, I don't work. But when I did work, when I had a commute, it was all the way to the other side of Charlotte, headed down towards South Carolina. It was a nightmare. It was on the worst interstate in our area. I hated it. I hated every second of it with a passion. And what I did was... I smoked and I listened to my music. At that time, I had a I Rock Z. Ooh, yes, I did. I would work that vehicle and I had these big old speakers. Y'all remember when the speakers were like external big old speakers? Well, I had them in a box and they were in the back and that thing would jam. So I'd have my, if it, you know, warm weather, I'd have my window down. I had my cigarette hanging out, jamming on my music, <laughs> thinking I was hot. <laughs> so, so that's what I did <laughs> and a lot of um cussing <laughs> what is your next vacation destination well whenever I can walk again I really really want to go to the beach I have missed the beach I think it's been three years since I've been able to go and I really really want to smell the ocean. I want to hear the ocean. I want to feel the the way that the air feels when you get down to the uh, um, beach. It's just everything about it. Then I also want to go to the mountains. I'm trying to um, figure out if I can take a day trip to the mountains because it's not that far. It, it's closer to us than the beach. Hour and a half, two hours. It's not that bad. I'm trying, trying to figure out if I could make a day trip out of that because I really want to go. And right now, it's a really beautiful time of year. And there's this little side of the road thing as you're going up the mountain called the Mountain Man. And it's just one of those. It's a it's a touristy place, but it also has all kind of um, just fun stuff and, and produce and mountain apples and jams and jellies and all that stuff and, and local stuff that they, you know, can and then you have the um, section for the tourists and the kids which you know we won't have any but when the kids were growing up they always got something you know you go and pick you out something you get to pick out one thing so if, if we stop somewhere they would get to pick out one thing so they would end up with their their little treasures when they got home and the last time we stopped there we got a thing of ball peanuts and so we was <laughs> we was Coming back down the mountain, eating our ball peanuts. Let me tell you, we was having some fun. That's when I was in my little 91 Ford Escort. Lord have mercy. That is a tiny little car. That's what I had up until he bought me this one that I got now. Got to where I couldn't get in and out of it because it practically sat on the ground. But yeah, we, we, we rode that little car. What? <laughs> I don't even have to tell y'all. What was the last TV show you binge watched? What y'all think? What y'all think? I'm not going to tell you. You tell me. 
What song always gets you out on the dance floor? Now listen, I don't dance now. I do some of that. <laughs> but when I was in college, I'm going to tell you what. We went dancing all the time. All, let me tell you, all the time. There were clubs. We would come down to Charlotte from the mountains is where I went to school. And we would come down to Charlotte on the weekends to, a, a, I mean, a big old dance club they had over there. And I... I don't even hardly know if I can pick one song that would get me out there like when I heard it, you know, because I would stay out on the dance floor. I, I, I was a dancing fool. But in my mind, I can hear the Gap Band. Y'all know the Gap Band. They, they jammed. But you dropped the bomb on me, baby. You dropped the bomb on me. Y'all know that? Look it up if you don't know it and tell me you don't start dancing. Just look it up. By the Gap Band. Then, when you were a kid, did you eat the crust on your sandwich or not? When I was a kid, I didn't know better, so I did. <laughs> now that I'm an adult, I know better. Ugh, no. I do not like crust on sandwiches. Now, when I was a kid, I wouldn't eat the heel. I still don't eat the heel. I'll make a piece of toast. I could eat with spaghetti or something with a hip, but I ain't eating it on no sandwich. But I do not like crust now. But as a kid, I don't recall um, rip, ripping them off as a kid. Um, do you sleep with a top sheet? Why or why not? No. Growing up, we had sheet sets. That's how you made your bed. You had your bottom sheet, you had your top sheet, and then you had whatever blanket or comforter or quilt, whatever you had. So when I um, got married the first time, we had that. Then I married David, and oh my God, what a cover hog. Ridiculous. <laughs> it got to where the top sheet, he would just kick the top sheet off and pull the blanket up. And so the top sheet would just be wadded up at the foot of the bed every day. If you can't beat them, join them. I ripped that thing. I ain't had a top sheet on my bed, and pfft. 20 some odd years because it it's not worth it's not worth the hassle to worry about picking it out and trying to straighten it back up then it got to the point to where dude your home girl needs some covers too so he had his blankie and i had my blankie and there we went so no no top sheet his and hers blankie now that i can't sleep in the bed for a year I have my own blankie on my chair, <laughs> and he has his own blankie on the bed, and he has his own blankie on the couch. The blankie on the couch was the one that he liked on the bed until I actually bought one that I liked to make it pretty, and I threw his on the couch, and that's where he lays. He'll lay there with that thing up to his chin, act like I got it cold in here at 68 degrees. Man. <laughs> Y'all know I love him. Oh, what's your favorite thing about your current job? I guess that I don't have one. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you what. Yeah, I don't have one. So, I guess every job that I used to have, I could pick out maybe one um, favorite thing. But since I don't have one now, we just won't go job to job to job. How would your 10-year-old self react what you do now <sighs> she'd probably say OMG look how you turned out you, you, I, I'm not where I thought I would be at 58 I'm going to tell you that right now I ain't going into no sad sex story but I, I am not where I thought I would be at 58 and my 10 year old self I don't even know what she wanted to be I don't even know what she wanted to be I can't say oh she wanted to be a princess or, you know, she wanted to be a doctor. I don't, I don't know that I wanted to be anything at 10 years old except just 10 years old. So honestly, she probably wouldn't think anything, you know, she probably, she probably wouldn't think anything. Um, what was your first job? My first job was at Bonanza Steakhouse when I was 16 years old. Yes, it was right down here where the Golden Corral sits now. Um, 
that whole area is so built up now you can't even hardly picture in your mind's eye what it used to look like just a little you know little small um, main road and bonanza the front of it looked like a barn red and shaped like that and it was one of those walk through steakhouses not where you went in sat down and got your order took you walked through the line and made your order and then come up there and paid I was some kind of, I don't even remember what all I did there. It's just one of those jobs where you just kind of do this, that, and the other, whatever they need you to do. Oh, number 10. What do you remember most about your first job? You know what I remember most? Was the steak tips. <laughs> of course it was food. I didn't even have an issue with food back then, except I liked it. But they would give you one meal um a day that they would so when you come to work you were guaranteed you could have one meal so even working part-time i still got uh one free meal a day and i always without fail got their steak tips they were so delicious the cooks back there knew that's what i was going to get <laughs> so that that's you might know that's what i remember something food related so <laughs> anyway this is a fun tag tracy Oh, that's some, um, that's got some good memories going on right there. Because I am, ooh, I am picturing myself on that dance floor. <sighs> Those were the good old days. What I wouldn't give to go back, I have told y'all before, I would go back to the 70s. Now, I graduated high school in 1980, so... 78 to 79 we had a little um well actually two little dance clubs small small no booze involved where kids could go us teenagers could go and that's during the Bee Gees so when I hear the Bee Gees I can see the club you know and then in the 80s disco took off and then it started going in a kind of a different route of disco like really dance music and so i can hear certain songs and i can see where i'm at mother fletchers y'all remember mother fletchers they had them at the beach they had them in the mounds they had them here there and the other and um pb scott's that was in the mountains and the dixie electric that's the one that was in charlotte the seahorse was in Johnson City, Tennessee. So we would make the rounds. So that I think that's probably my favorite question on there, just because it's got me um, reminiscent to the, the good old days. Th those were some fun times. Those were some fun times. <laughs> but I told you, I would go back. Only some things I would do again. Absolutely. And some things I wouldn't. So I know now what I wouldn't do. I know now what I would change. But I also know now. Oh yeah. We would do that one again. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway. This is a fun tag Tracy. This is a fun tag. Some um, good questions in there. Now it is time for me to. Oh excuse me. Somebody's coming to see me today. Um, it is time for me to tag somebody. And I am going to tag my friend Anna over at Anna's Journey to a Healthier Life. I'm going to tag Miss B over at B's Journey. And then today, I'm going to tag a new channel. She's just getting started. Her name is Ashlyn, and her channel is Project Ashlyn. She is a sweetheart. I have really enjoyed watching her. She's younger than us, ladies. So, she's kind of, kind of coming in... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how how old she is, but I could probably be her mama. <laughs> but she has such a sweet family and a cute little boy. Oh my gosh, her little boy his name is Jameson. He is so cute, very cute. Um, but she's on Weight Watchers Blue, although I think she she thought thought about changing the other day. But I really like her content. I like her personality. I like um. I've just been enjoying her channel a lot, and so I would like y'all to go over there and see her. 
show her some subscription love, help her grow her channel because I think what she has to offer um, other people would enjoy. So, all right. Well, that is it for this week for Tag Tuesday, Tuesday Tag. I say it different every time. So, <laughs> I will see you on my next video.